And I, bl I blame feminists for almost every ill that we have right now because they've encouraged people not to act as a woman and they bash men all the time. And I think that they have contributed the most to the breakdown of family in terms of an ideology. Now. Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to Candace Owen debate college feminist. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Um, so I noticed you had a lot of thoughts on feminism. Um, I'm a feminist, but really I was just wondering how do you differentiate between the extremism that exists in feminism as it does across, you know, multiple different ideologies, but how do you differentiate between the extremism and how, you know, feminists like me think, you know, I don't hate men. I yeah, don't, it's a great question and, and I'm glad you asked it. How yeah, you? it's a very, a great, very question. So what you have to realize about the left when you talk about extremism is they hack words that once had real meaning and they take them for their own nefarious goals, right? So they'll say racism. And you'll go, oh my God, no, really, racism used to exist, but now it means organizing your pantry. That's obviously not racism. That's completely ridiculous. You see something like feminism, and once upon a time, you know, women were fighting for the right to vote. Well, now we have that. We have equal footing. Um, and now they're using those terms. They're hiding behind the shield of feminism, and they're doing actually horrible things in society. And I, bl I blame feminists for almost every ill that we have right now because they've encouraged people not to act as a woman, and they bash men all the time. And I think that they have contributed the most to the breakdown of family in terms of an ideology. Now, I'm for you, my question. <laughs> no, I am, I'm, I'm getting there. Okay. Now for you, you're like, okay, but I actually am somebody that just believes in equality, that there should be equality between the sexes, right? I think it's um, more culturally and socially, not necessarily in the realm of legality. Sure, so I'm gonna ask you, what is it socially, so you could call yourself something, right? That means that there's some fight that you have. What is it socially that you and I have as women that, that, that we don't have that men do? Why is there a need for you to be a feminist? I think as women, we are um, undervalued when it comes to our intelligence. I think people, especially for me, as no. a woman who, I'm sorry, what'd you say? Go ahead, let her talk. Um, for me, as a woman, I feel like a lot of people look at me and think I'm superficial. They think I'm, I'm, I'm vapid. They don't necessarily see that I could be intelligent, that I could speak for myself they tend to automatically... Guys, don't be rude. Go ahead. I tend to get belittled a lot, and that comes from men, not necessarily women, right? So you, you're saying in your personal capacity, men are belittling you, right? But when you talk about affecting actually a social change, this might be your personal experience, but does that mean that all women are going through this or that all women are experiencing this belittlement by men? And see, I understand that, but I think also when I listen to you speak and you speak on why you don't like feminism, mm -hmm. I hear a lot of anecdotal work and I hear a lot of personal experience, like your experience in that one class that you had whereas I've had five, six classes in my gender studies courses right. and I've never experienced no, that, anything that's totally like fine. that. That's ever. totally fine. You know Guys, what I mean? So just I just don't feel like it's fair to studies. take personal experience. No, no, it's experience totally fine. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. I'm, I'm actually talking about the real world consequences of the dangerous ideology telling women that they have to take their clothes off, that they should be on TikTok. I'm talking about real world consequences. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm talking like about literally extremism. the fact that women are no longer, like they're by and large all climbing the corporate ladder and that children are being seated over to the state. So I was giving you an anecdotal example of what happened in my feminist class, but the repercussions of that are seen everywhere. What I am saying is that what I'm offering to you mm -hmm. is not to feel like you have to give yourself an ism, right? Don't feel like you have to put yourself in a box. Don't feel like you have to put yourself into some weird social constructs. I think that what you'll find with time is that it constrains you unnecessarily. I don't have a problem with the fact if you want to identify as a feminist and you think that there is some fight that needs to be ended. I don't personally think that is that's... Is conservatism not a box any more than feminism is? Well, uh, saying that I have conservative principles, feminism is not being a conservative or being a liberal, right? You're talking about an ideology, right? A system you think I you're... mean, I would assume conservatism is also an ideology as well, is it not? Uh, sure. Conservatism is an ideology. These are the things that we believe. You could say that everything is an ideology. What I'm saying to you is that I would not necessarily paint yourself into a corner you don't seem to me like you have any issues speaking up. You don't seem to me like you feel like you're constrained in any way. You're standing up here today. I would say, I would offer to you that there's never been a more remarkable time to be a woman in this society. By every statistic, we are doing better than men. That's a fact, right? Men have a higher, we, we are graduating at a higher rate than men. Men have higher suicide rates. That's why I said to you, despite how you're feeling, what are the real world implications that suggest to you that you are somehow beneath men? You might have a personal experience where I mean, a man- I can talk about said, sexual assault everywhere, in the military, in the home. So, so are these the things that, that you're fighting to end sexual assault? Of course, yeah. Okay, great. You don't have to be a feminist to fight to end sexual assault. You don't have to be, and but men I've... and women. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 
agree. I don't great. believe you have to it's be. It's a great cause. But it's, of Men course, and a part women of the go through that. I just said to him, one of the biggest things that I give to every year mm -hmm. is for human, human sex trafficking. It doesn't require to be a feminist. Now, yeah. you seem really committed to it. I've said to you since the very beginning, if you want to be a feminist girl, put it on a t-shirt, wear it, put a hashtag. I'm just telling you, don't unnecessarily put yourself into a corner and to recognize that it has never been a greater time. I would offer it as a way better time in this society to be a woman. Right, I feel it's, it's, it's the best time for you to be a woman. And I will say this based on my mom. And it's hard. But for her to even take off eight of us, like I have eight siblings and seven siblings from him, eight. So like it's, it's, it's hard. For me, I feel she been now, like she been in this present time, give her that opportunity for her to actually work with a lot of men. And it's actually hard for like she being a contractor, she being able to like go out there because a contractor is more like seen as a man's job. That was I'm studying in school, and we really have a female in my class. So, like, I understand that. But, like, I feel this present time and age, women feel somehow, I'll be honest, impressed of, of some men, and some men still ask as jet. But, like, I'll say that a lot of men standing up for women in this present day age. Like, and it's not like a man is trying to bully to you, you can speak up and you can tell him to shut the fuck up and he would because like we are all adults and I feel we all have freedom of speech and you being a woman I feel you can do anything a man can do and she's talking about sexual assault and I would say yes some people still get assaulted but like I will honestly say that I honestly believe that men get assaulted more and I'm not saying the proportion is high, but like it's up there, and we don't just talk about it. This is this is why some men actually commit suicide because there are a lot of things that happen to men, and we don't just talk about it. A lot, like a lot of men get assaulted. Like some people say, men actually get horny more than women, but I would say it's a lie. I'm not speaking of personal experience, but like I've heard a lot, I've seen a lot. So like people doing it, like a lot of aunties out there molesting children. There are a lot of people out there molesting children and eventually male children. And for you to just say, I understand, but I'm I'm yes saying that men get assaulted. So older men we still get assaulted. And the women really get it easy, if I'm be honest. Like you do. And it's fine, like everybody needs to work for what they have to get and that is what I have been taught as a man. So I really won't look at the fact that you're getting easy and I won't be like you know. I feel that's why some people actually transition so they can just get it easy. But like you know, I think we think about this then she's like share up my channel. I'll see you next time guys. Best.